So good morning groovy girls. Today's video is something that I haven't done before but I feel like it's going to help a lot of you as well as me. Knowing that I'm going to be vlogging today I feel like it's going to be a little bit of motivation that I need. I'm awfully sorry about my sore throat and if I keep clearing my throat throughout this video I am honestly so apologetic. I don't know what's wrong like I'm not in pain with my throat or anything. I've just woke up. No chesty I guess. But the past week for me has just been <laughs> pretty rough i'm not gonna lie and i just feel so down so demotivated with everything i'll probably go into more depth later in the video about like how i'm actually feeling but the preface of this video is me just trying to get my motivation back get back into a routine i put on my instagram which I've honestly so many of you responded to like i'm so thankful where i asked what is a change that i can make that doesn't involve moving house or moving city because normally when i feel like this i just have to have some form of big change whether that's completely like cut all my hair off and diet or i change my room around or i move city or i move house or i go on holiday but a lot of those things aren't possible right now and also i'm very comfortable where i live like i don't actually want to move obviously going on holiday isn't an option right now i kind of don't really want to up my hair because i don't want to make my hairdresser have a really hard job of trying to get out whatever color i've put in there so i feel like i might do a semi-permanent i'll see how the week goes on a lot of you also said move your room around but the only issue is is i did that recently um if you guys saw like the life update vlog i actually bought a whole ass wardrobe i moved my room around quite a lot but i am slowly doing some diy things which hopefully will be shown in this vlog or another one if i do too much diy then i'm definitely just going to do a whole video on like diy creativity changing like some things in my room like some aspects of my room but that will all be explained in the future but yeah i'm just so thankful that so many of you actually sent ideas in and the purpose of this video is i'm going to try and do a lot of them i have literally just got up i'm still in my pajamas as you can see i thought i'd come into the kitchen and just get up because hopefully that would like i don't know motivate me to get out of bed i actually have made my bed this morning and i've just put my hair up because i'm gonna try and get back into the routine of as soon as i wake up in the morning do a workout have a protein shake and then start my day the only issue so far is that i don't actually have any bananas i have no peanut butter left and they're the two main ingredients in my protein shakes that i used to make i'm gonna prove to you guys i want you guys to do this with me if you're watching this video in the morning then please do the same bed is made it's obviously very crinkled i basically washed all of my bedding yesterday so i'll probably steam that just because it's really gonna annoy me i have my gym clothes here which i'm gonna put on shortly sorry you just saw my underwear so this is the current state of me um i literally literally just slept in whatever clothes i could find last night i was just so like whacked out and tired and just a bit upset i just wanted to get to bed i actually saw a life hack to get your day started and just like get you feeling refreshed in the morning and the first one on the agenda was to make your bed and the second one is to down a glass of water so i actually have my juice from the night before but i'm just gonna fill it up even more because this is just gonna flush out your system it's gonna just make you feel a lot more awake i'm gonna go easy on myself today i am gonna fill it up halfway and just down this on camera for you guys um also because of my invisalign i can't actually have like squash or anything with sugar in so i have sugar-free squash which is the fruit creations from robinson's it's actually really tasty i'm not gonna lie and then i'm gonna go to the shop and get bananas and peanut butter as i mentioned i don't have them yet feeling good it's currently like nine o'clock i think it's actually 9 42 so it took a little bit longer to get out of bed today let's just get this day started i'm hoping if any of you feel the same you can Follow along with this routine every single morning, like with the little tips of getting up and making your bed straight away, downing a glass of water, and then doing a workout as well. I really encourage you to eat breakfast. Like I'll show you what I get from Sainsbury's afterwards. I'm gonna get some like breakfast foods and stuff. And I also have, oh my God, I have such an exciting package to show you later when I'm going along my day, but I can do that later. But for now, grab your water and drink it with me. And let's just, let's just, get this day going you know let's become more positive and more motivated and get shit done i'm sick of procrastinating even though i am procrastinating right now i hate the noise that kids make when they're like, ah. Ah. like why do they do that oh, i'm nearly there oh my god i'm so sorry why does it make you burp so much like how does water make you gassy is it just the air bubbles on your throat or something oh my hair looks gorge i'm so glad you guys are seeing that today <sighs> oh god wow that was a lot i have actually done this before and i know it's possible to get back into the routine start some workouts again healthy eating looking after myself putting myself first getting my motivation back to work actually getting into a routine of working as well because i have just got into the mindset of oh, i feel sad so i'm just gonna get into bed and that's fine to do but you can't do it every day you can't do it every day and i'm so determined to get back into a routine where i can actually get out of bed <laughs> like i just want to be able to 
can get up in the morning. You know what I mean? Pro tip is keeping your body healthy and getting one of these bad boys. This is a two litre bottle. You're supposed to drink um, one to three litres a day, I believe. And these bottles help so much because it's a visual representation of how much you need to drink. So if you hold it up to the light, you can see like where your water's at. So it'll be about here. I actually need to refill this. And once you've done it, if you want to, you can refill it again. Obviously don't drown yourself. I refill this, put it in my fridge to make sure it's cold. And then we will finally go to Sainsbury's guys. I will finally get dressed and go to Sainsbury's, okay? Just give me five minutes. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yup. So today's workout, I'm gonna do legs and abs. Like abs don't really like specifically come into it with the schedule that my old personal trainer made for me. He's called Zach Fox, by the way, he's literally insane. I'll leave his at here. I fell off the rail a bit, I'm not gonna lie. He's just like being there for me, if that makes sense, making sure I'm eating right and stuff. Just doing what a friend would do. He actually is my friend as well as my PT, so um, it does actually really help. But the workout that I'm choosing to do today is legs because that is my favourite thing to work on. I think I might also just do a little bit of pull because my back has been hurting so much recently and any pull exercise helps your posture so i'm gonna throw some of them in there to hopefully help myself out a little bit i'm using resistance bands obviously it depends completely on what strength you wanted to use but i'm just gonna do the schedule from before when i used to actually do pt sessions with him so i'm starting on legs gonna do banded squat back lunges wall sit squat pulses squat walk and a glute bridge obviously remember to warm up and stuff and then do your stretches afterwards i have such a sick stretch routine which i can show you guys obviously i'm not a professional none of the stuff that i'm going to be doing in this video is going to be like to a t like i'm not amazing and i also haven't worked out in about two months so my body is going to really be feeling this and really be struggling but i want to just get it back to the point where i enjoyed exercising and my body felt good for it but yeah it's just finding that motivation to get back into it i'm just going to use the lightest one because these are actually really really small resistance bands like they're tiny so you can get these from amazon i know a lot of you are going to be asking where i got them from and for the squats i'm going to do later i also have some dumbbells courtesy of byron because he also works out if you don't have any of this home equipment then these literally are not expensive and you don't have to physically have weights in order to work out at home obviously you can do a lot of cardio and stuff at home but just i don't know work out along with me get up a really cool playlist i normally just put on like a cavos malia i beat the playlist you know something really upbeat obviously spotify is the best place for playlists so get yourself on there get yourself motivated if you want to put in your airpods or like your headphones and do so i feel like increased music in your ear can really motivate you to work out harder this is going to be in like times five speed i'm not going to be doing it as quickly as it looks work out again i will admit though i obviously went shopping at about 10 i got back at 11 i actually got really distracted and i just like sat outside for a bit just in the sun it felt really good i definitely recommend that if you are having a bit of a down day like just go outside get some sun obviously the weather's improving slowly but surely it will be summer soon guys and I feel like, obviously with all the recent news and stuff, hopefully, um, we actually will be able to have a nice summer. I feel just like a lot better within myself. I feel healthier for working out today. And believe me, it was a struggle. This is the first time in two months that I have woken up and thought, yeah, I'm gonna do a workout today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I haven't done my stretches. That is a complete bollock lie.
two of the ingredients because I don't actually have any oats. It contains flax seeds, usually oats. Salt with caramel, a vegan protein powder. This is from Misfits. I've literally used this for like the longest time, just out of convenience and it also tastes really good. I usually use the salted date peanut butter but i've also run out of that so i'm going to use this smooth one that i just brought from sainsbury's bananas some oat milk and a little bit of water to make it like not as thick and some honey i'm also going to have some salmon and eggs i've decided baron actually got me onto that and it actually tastes really good i have mine with sweet chili sauce so you should get some rye beef to have it on Oh yeah, you should put sweet chilli sauce on there, mm. then put the egg and the salmon on top, that'd be so nice. Ooh, maybe I'll do that one. So, one banana. It doesn't matter if it's ripe or mushy, it's all getting mushed up anyway, bros. Right, apparently this is the correct way to open a banana at the end, isn't it? Ooh, oh, okay. If you, oh, maybe not. If you squeeze it and then pull it down, apparently. I just break it up because it's so much easier to blend. A tablespoon of protein powder. You know what flax seeds do, to be honest. We will put two in anyway, just like it's staying. We need some milk. She needs some milk. I don't like to waste my milk though, so I do actually do part water. I'll probably fill it to like there. And then I'm gonna pour some wine in. Make sure it's cold water you're using though, because otherwise that will be really grim. Nobody wants a warm smoothie. You know this recipe, right? Imagine, I've done this for the longest time. And it's actually a recipe where it grows your ass. And I had no idea. I was just floating about in space, having a fat ass. It's crazy. It's really crazy out here. So we don't actually have a blender, so we'll just shake it. I'm so working for me. Right, let's get this blended, shall we? Shake a shake and make her look what we can make. What's that from? Oh, you fucking having me on? Oh, oh well, I mean technically he's in hairspray. He's the woman, yeah. He's the mum. But he's Danny from Greece. You uncultured swine. So everyone that has an issue with me putting my smoothie in a wine glass. Deal with it, bitch. Delish, I'm so excited. shower now and i'm kind of gonna have a bit of a pamper sesh because received this in the post yesterday it's called a caffeinated scalp scrub i just really want to you know just i want to liven my hair up a bit i want my scalp to be feeling rejuvenated and all of that i'm just gonna do like a lip scrub i actually have a skincare ad to film which is some skincare that i've been using called skin proud i don't have a pamper day today which is obviously really good to like self-care, self-love, make you just feel a little bit better about yourself, you know, properly taking care of yourself. It was safe to say I have just had one of the nicest meals I've had in my flat for, hi Jesus. I have just had such a nice meal like, oh my god i'm so full but i feel so satisfied i feel so satisfied with the meal i just had and i'm gonna like go through and show you guys because i just want to give this company as much promo as possible because i'm so baffled that they've even gifted me this food like let's just get into it because i can't believe it babe. this actually fits in so perfectly for today's video because you saw me do my workout earlier and i feel like meal prepping is so important because it just takes so much time off the aftermath of the workout obviously you have to have the 40 minute window where you eat in order to repair your muscles that's why you need a lot of protein and stuff after you do a workout with this meal prep service which is called rns meals it just completely takes off the pressure of rushing to just eat something after your workout and you know for a fact that you're definitely definitely going to repair your muscles which obviously means that your workouts will be more beneficial and you will see results quicker so i just want to show you a few things that i got sent so this is the vegan nut roast with couscous and veg i did tell them that i was pescatarian and vegan but I do eat a little bit of meat occasionally, like chicken and stuff. So they've really helped me out with this. And then we have the, I don't actually know how you pronounce this. If anyone knows how to pronounce it, please let me know. Nasi goreng chicken with rice and veg. I don't want to butcher that. The best thing about RNS Mills is the fact that it's completely out of your comfort zone. Like you don't really know what you're going to get sent and it's just to try new things. And I love that so much. So I did just want to give you guys a discount code, which is Harriet15. If you guys do want to shop RNS Mills and you want to get 15% off, they are honestly such an incredible meal service. Such good food, completely high in energy, high in protein, high in nutrients. Some of the meals are like two of your five a day, which is so sick. And of course they're made with love and they're made in a kitchen that's completely sanitary. And I just, yeah, I just really am I'm so thankful that I got to try these. I sneakily tried some of Byron's last week before they messaged me about doing gifting for this and insane. So yeah, thank you so, so much, RNS Mills. If you want to check them out, their link will be in the description. You can also check them out on the screen. But now it's time to update you for how my day has gone. Let's just bring you over here, shall we? Do -do 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 -do. So I have actually shot my ad, just um, the Skin Proud ad for my IGTV. If you guys want to follow my Instagram, Go on, you know you want to. But I just wanted to explain to you guys 
that I have a method which one of my exes taught me actually and it was really beneficial for writing a to-do list and should I turn the light on? It's a bit dark, isn't it? Yeah, an ex of mine taught me this trick because I used to really struggle with trying to prioritize certain things and figuring out what tasks needed to be done before the others and I just procrastinated a lot and it was really getting me down because I just felt so stressed but I didn't know why because I was overworking myself for no reason quite frankly and making my day harder than it should have been. So what he suggested that I do is divide my to-do list up into rocks and sands in the same sense of if you had a glass i was looking for a glass but i can't actually find one right now and i'm too lazy to get it but if you had a glass and you filled it with sand and then you put rocks in you wouldn't be able to fill the whole glass where if you put the rocks in first and then you fill it with the sand around it the glass will be completely full like there will not be a single bit of space in that glass and that's basically a representation of the rocks being the really big task that you need to complete first and then the sands being the tasks that you usually procrastinate with but they're the ones that don't really need doing just yet and they can actually be done later in the evening or maybe even tomorrow or the next week but your aim is to actually complete all of those within that day so you get a full glass at the end of it does that make sense it's really hard to explain but i can try and show you my notes page and see if that helps so i normally do it weekly and i do like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday because i work a lot on um weekends i don't really have a weekend so i put that on there as well but obviously if you work like a nine to five job then you can do just monday to friday but that's how i lay it out and it's helped me so much i put like a little emoji by the task that i've already done for the day i had such an early night last night i was feeling all types of emotions and um yeah i just needed to go to bed and cry and go to sleep i didn't actually cry couldn't physically cry i feel like i've cried so much the past two weeks i just I can't do it anymore. You know when you're just numb and you just feel a bit drained? But that is a really, really good tip, guys. And I'm going to continue this video onto tomorrow because it is motivating me so much to just get back into a routine and feel better. I'm sick of being sad. I'm sick of feeling unmotivated. I know I mentioned this at the beginning, but I really am, guys. And it's affected my job so much, especially with hate online and stuff. I'll come to YouTube or I'll come to Instagram kind of as a little bit of a release from my actual life with everything going on. And it's just really hateful and hate-filled as well. And it's, it's just not really a place that I want to be on right now. I can't really say I get it. People are getting to their wicks end pretty much with lockdown and they just want it to end so they're looking for other things to do to pass the time and sadly that thing is hating on people on the internet and it's for no reason like i've had so many dms about my appearance or i don't know something i'll do that is just so minor like for example anna putting bread in the fridge she got so much hate for that and it's nothing to do with anyone especially something that minor like that's mental i'm not going to talk about it too much because it'll get me in my feels again <laughs> but i just really feel like at the minute i don't really have anywhere to like turn to like i can't really go on the internet because it's so hateful and it just makes me even sadder and the internet also just reminds me of so many things like instagram and tiktok and like just everything i see things on there that i don't want to see and it's just a bit sad at the minute guys but this is why i've done this video and I did say that I was going to go into more depth. I feel like that's the limit of depth that I'm going to go into. I don't really want to like start confessing all my issues and stuff on the internet. I just want you guys to use this as well if you're feeling similar or you're just kind of in a rut and you're at that point in lockdown where you're like, what else do I do? Like, I feel like I've exhausted all of my options. So I'm just going to read some of the ones that you guys sent on Instagram. I've already completed a lot of them actually, but I'm going to be doing more tomorrow and I'm just going to keep continuing to do these and hopefully I will just get back to being me. A lot of you said get a new hobby such as like painting, reading, journaling, starting yoga. Yoga is so good for the mind and the body so I highly encourage you to do a 30 day challenge of yoga if you are in a rut and you have nothing else to do. If you are a busy person then I recommend either doing your workout or yoga. Like don't try and do both within the same day because it really it will just get too hectic and you'll feel like you have no time to do anything. But try my yoga out of the two i personally feel because it's so good for your mind journaling i've never really found helps me but i know it helps a lot of people and i know a lot of therapists always say like write down your feelings and sometimes if you scrunch up the page with your feelings on after letting it all out and either burn it or chuck it in the bin obviously don't do both at the same time because it's a fire hazard it feels like you're getting rid of your feelings and do you know what i might even try that tomorrow 
work. Also a new hobby if you are looking for something just to pass the time in lockdown, learn a new language. Oh my God, like learning something is so beneficial. That's not only gonna help you now, it's gonna help you in the long run. And I really wanna be bilingual or trilingual. Like I just wanna be able to speak another language. So someone said book for a new tattoo. Obviously that's looking forward to the future, which is also a really good idea. Getting a new piercing or booking a spa treatment or booking a holiday. Like obviously it's very uncertain time. If you're the type of person that has to have something to look forward to, then maybe booking something might help you. A lot of people said redecorate your room, dye your hair. Obviously we spoke about that at the beginning. Both are very good ideas as well. I feel like semi-permanence would be good for people who are in a similar position to me where like you just need a change, need a quick fix. Because if you regret it, that's gonna take a lot to get out, especially because hairdressers are closed. Listen to a different music artist. That's really interesting. And maybe like binge watch their interviews. Trying new foods and changing up your breakfast, lunch or dinner. I highly recommend that. Obviously eating anyway, like having a good diet where you eat three meals a day and you also snack on healthy foods and you're drinking a lot of water. That is gonna make you feel a lot better anyway, but yeah, just trying new foods. Like when you go to Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Asda or something and walk in, have something new. Try cooking a new dish. I love cooking. Someone put something as simple as changing the background on your phone or putting art in your room. That is very true. Looking for like a new bit of art for your wall or something, that would be quite cool. Also had a lot of recommendations to do the widget thing on your phone and clear your camera roll, clear texts, like get rid of a lot of storage. Also cleaning out your room and getting rid of things that like no longer need. So there's a rule that if you have haven't worn it in the past six months and can't see yourself wearing it in the next three months, you need to get rid of it. And by get rid of it, I mean charity shop, obviously. There's so much stuff living in your cupboards that you probably don't even realize. And it's also nice to refresh yourself looking at your wardrobe because you might see something and be like, oh, I used to love that, why don't I wear it anymore? And then you can wear it again. Throwing out old makeup. Oh my God, yes, because this is also gonna help your skin. It's just gonna be so good. I had such a bad like reaction to old makeup. It gave me contact dermatitis on my eyes. I'm pretty sure if you follow my Instagram, you would have been around for that, but it was really bad. This is a really random one, but roller skating. I actually have a friend that roller skates around Manchester and he absolutely loves it. And this girl has put it such a nice way to get fresh air and have fun. I really wanna now buy roller skates. I might buy some roller skates. Having a spring clean. So that's actually on my to-do list for tonight. I think I'm gonna push it back to tomorrow though and get up early, do another workout and then clean everywhere and have a shower straight after. And that's not me procrastinating. The house really isn't that filthy. I just I like to freshen it up every now and then. I'm just gonna read the next few like straight off the bat. I'm not going to talk about them, but hopefully it will spark an idea in your brain. Learning how to read and understand music. Volunteer to go walk someone's dog. Dogs make everything better, I do agree. Hit your nails, buy loads of plants. Plants are actually really good for the oxygen in your room, so highly recommend. Having a pamper evening, changing the way you wash your hair. That's interesting. And then style it different. Oh, a really good one if you want to do that, actually, is getting the dressing gown and doing the dressing gown curls that I see all over TikTok. If you haven't seen it, honestly, just a quick YouTube search will teach you how to do it. Gives you the best wavy curls Ever. Turning off social media notifications has been so good for me. Wow, okay, I definitely need to do that. Take up a new sport like running. I wanna do couch to 5K, so that is a good one as well. My nan is so cute. She put, try and learn some of the language of the country you want to go to for when you can next go abroad. You can do it online. She's so cute, man. I actually adore her so much. This is what I mean though, like it's so easy to learn a language online at the minute. And it would be so beneficial. Like imagine being able to go to another country, being able to speak to them in their native language. I just, I really wanna do that. It's so respectful as well to be able to go there. I love Greece, so like to be able to talk Greek to the people there would be insane. Getting flowers for yourself, getting new bed sheets, doing a bullet journal, listening to the Mindset Mentor podcast. Oh, okay, so someone said they're learning French on Duolingo. So there you go, there's a website that you can learn a new language on. Change your sleeping routine by waking up at seven every single day. Find a creative outlet such as writing songs, poems, or any form of art. Style for the future and pick out clothes that are out of your comfort zone. That is interesting. Buy something you've always wanted to learn and get stuck into it. Obviously, there are so many more, but if I do any of them, I'll keep it dated. I'm gonna end this one here because I'm not really too sure what else I'm gonna be doing. I've had my shower. I'm pretty much ready to get into bed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tired. Thank you for coming along with me to brighten my day and motivate me. I really appreciate it. And I know it's only a mindset because technically you guys aren't here with me, but knowing that this could help someone else really has 
just like help me get out of bed today <laughs> but we also just need to remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel we had good news the other day about how we may possibly have a summer and i really am hopeful about it also tomorrow's a brand new day yesterday i didn't do anything i literally gave up on all of my tasks procrastinated all day by sitting in bed i didn't even shower i didn't do anything like it's a pretty fucked day and now look at me today i have been so productive and first time in two months in a workout i just feel i feel so good now i'm still sad but i feel good you know i love you all so so much and i will see you maybe tomorrow who knows i'm hoping so because it means i've continued it so yeah bye <laughs>